bubble tea. It tastes even better when you make it yourself. Do you want to know how I made this? Keep on watching. Subscribe! Also, hit the bell button so you don't miss any videos. Hey everyone, it's Miwako. Welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I will be making my first ever recipe. I have never made a recipe or a kitchen video at all on this channel. On today's video, we are going to be making a bubble tea drink. What is different about this recipe is that this is low carb. The ingredients can be substituted for any type of diet. Mine is keto. I'm into the keto diet. I always wanted to have a bubble tea drink for my keto diet. Normally, the bubble milk tea uh, drinks are very high in sugar. The bubble pearls, they are made out of starch. So they are like truly forbidden for the ketogenic diet. So I came up with this recipe. I'm very, very happy. You can use any tea for this. So far, I have test this with the black tea and one tea that I just got in recently which is macaroon kind of flavor that one is very very sweet I just love sweet drinks I really really like it and I'm very happy how it turned out so how did I come up with this specific recipe well I tried to look for different alternative there are people that made the pearls with gelatin but I don't have time for that. I wanted to use something different. Before deciding what I was gonna use for the pearls, I was thinking about the texture because the pearls are like gummy, like gummy bears or something like that. And the first thing that made me think about the boba pearls were the shirataki noodles. Shirataki noodles or konjac noodles, they are pure fiber. They have no calories or whatsoever. The texture is also like gummy, like gummy bears. And none of them have any flavor. You have to add sugar to the tapioca pearls. I was thinking about the texture and then I thought that, yeah, oh my gosh. Maybe shirataki uh, noodles will work. I was looking also for the shape. You can find shirataki noodles, shirataki pearls, or you will find them by the name of shirataki rice. That's what are we gonna be using today. We're gonna be using shirataki rice that are mini mini pearls for this recipe. These are gonna be our boba pearls and a few more ingredients that you might be having at home. I'm very happy to have found this alternative because it works great on the ketogenic diet and honestly I feel like it almost tastes the same. It's been a long time since I have tapioca pearls but the texture and stuff they taste to be the same. The only difference compared to the real tapioca on this one is that in this case we are using the mini pearls and the tapioca pearls are very very huge. You can find uh, bigger versions online. I have found it on Alibaba. That's the only place that I found like the very big pearls. I got the shirataki noodles on Walmart online but you can find shirataki rice almost anywhere. Can we first appreciate the little twin star stickers that I added to this cup. I got this cup on Dollar Tree by the way. It's perfect for this video. Here are the pearls. They're very very tiny as I said. The shirataki pearls have no color. They are transparent. Not like the tapioca pearls that you usually see in black. I really hope you like this video. So yeah, without any more waiting, let's go ahead with the recipe. <laughs> Let's start with the ingredients. First, you will need a coffee or a tea machine. You will need your favorite tea. I'm using black tea. You also need salt. You're gonna need your favorite sweeteners. I'm using stevia. This one is from Aldi. Ice. I'm using almond milk with 30 calories. I got this also from Aldi. Shirataki rice. This is the brand that I'm using. And your favorite mug. Start by making your tea like you regularly do. I'm gonna be making four cups for this video. Next, we're gonna start washing the shirataki rice. The shirataki or konjac really stinks. It smells very fishy. So if you're very sensitive of the smell, I suggest to wear a mask or hold your breath because it stinks a lot. So try to wash the best that you can with running water. So that way the smell can disappear a little bit. Next, you're gonna be removing all the excess of water the best you can too because we need the shirataki rice to be as dry as possible so we can fry them on the stove. Next, with your stove set up in medium, I'm gonna be adding some coconut oil to my skillet. Do not use a cast iron for this. Cook for 4 to 5 minutes. 
After four or five minutes has passed, try to add two to four teaspoons or packets of sweetener per cup of pearls. and add a pinch of salt. Keep mixing. When you're done, try to move them into another container and let them rest for 15 to 20 minutes or more. We saw that after putting overnight a cooked shirataki rice with sweetener, it enhanced a lot the flavors, so if you have time, you can put them overnight and have more flavorful pearls. When the tea is ready, start pouring it in another bowl. Add your milk. Again, you can use any milk that you want. Start adding your sweeteners. I'm using around 8 to 9 sweeteners. Now before serving, you have two options. One is to let the tea cool down for 15 minutes in a room temperature. If you don't want to wait, you can add ice to your mug and then pour all the tea that you're going to drink. And then the best part, it's time to add 1 to 2 tablespoons of shirataki pearls. As you can see, they're very very tiny, so if you want, you can add several tablespoons. And don't forget to use a very big straw, because even though they are tiny, they are still a little bit bigger than the regular straws. And you are done. Now you just need to close your mug. And here you can see the tiny, tiny pearls. As I said, they're very tiny, so you can add as many as you want. Now it's time to drink. So everyone, what do you think about my bubble tea or my mini bubble tea? I'm very, very excited to hear everyone's opinion. Again, this is my first ever recipe that I've ever done and I'm proud of this recipe. If you're gonna use my recipe, I will appreciate if you credit me. It will mean a lot. Anything that you wanna say, please let me know on the comment below. Do you have any suggestion? What would you have changed on the recipe? Anything that you wanna say, let me know on the comment below. It was a very fun video to do and a very refreshing one. <laughs> Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more kawaii content. Also hit the like button if you like this video. Thank you very much for watching guys and I hope to see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.